All right. Um, let's go here and let's go here. So for today, we have a rather nice but very difficult text. This is the so-called um, Soba marble inscription. It was found in the early 19th century in Soba, which is close to the current uh, capital of Sudan, uh, Khartoum. Um, it is written most likely in a Nubian language, but it's not Old Nubian. Um, it has been uh, published in part um, late um, 19th century, and after that no one really has looked at it. And so a couple of years ago I went to the archives of the Egyptian Museum in Berlin to have a look at this, um, at this inscription. Um, this one, one side and the other side. Um, as you can see, the script style is rather different on the front and the back. This really reminds us of Old Nubian script. It's a slanted uh, majuscule. This one, this upright one, is really quite different. Uh, as you can see, it has like this type of stacking of uh, characters here, here, here. Um, they are also sometimes inside each other, um, because in here, so that's already a quite a difficult, uh, different. Then we have a number of characters, this one, this one actually, uh, this one here, and this one here, that do not occur in um, Old Nubian or in any other of the languages, um, script forms that we know from the region, um, which makes the decipherment of this text even more uh, difficult. Now, I am preparing an edition of this text. Um, there's a little piece here, but it seems to belong to a different type of inscription. It has different character types. Um, on the front and the back. You see also these letters are much larger than these here. Uh, so I won't be really looking at this one, uh, but I'm looking at these three interconnected uh, pieces. The reason that they're so black, by the way, is because during the Second World War, the entire um, the, the, the archives or the storage items of the Egyptian Museum were stored in a castle outside Berlin, which then eventually was um, called Fire. And so this is the, the blackening is the result of the fire during the Second World War, but these stones um, survived miraculously. So um, when I was in the archives, uh, when I was in the depot um, a few years ago, I made a transcription uh, in my notebook and I've just typed this out here. It's a bit of a mess and we are going to clean it up today. Uh, as you can see, um, it's really, how do you put it, these letters here are quite well legible, but here it becomes rather difficult. Um, on the other side, it's, you know, this photograph is really not the best, but fortunately I made a lot of different photographs in raking light, so light on an angle, and so this will help us hopefully along the way to, um, to clean this all up. Um, I have a few photos here, maybe nice to see. Um, this is the actual depot of the, um, the external depot of the Egyptian Museum. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, they have so much. And so this is where we uh, picked up the monument. There it is. All right, so this is the beginning where I used the raking light, as you can see, to help understand what's going on. So let's get started with this. Da, 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 da. So this is what I call the back side. So that's here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
first of all, we do not know about the beginning, so to begin with, all of this should be bracketed out. Then we have a round shape here, not complete, not certain, um, Upsilon quite clear, Kappa, um, this could very well be also an Omicron, so I'm just going to put Omicron here and, oh yeah, could it be, I mean, maybe it's, maybe it's one or two, it could be a P actually. Um, da, 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 da. You see, the Omicron is quite big otherwise. Yeah, so I'm gonna go for this being a single letter. Could be a P. I'm just gonna put P for the moment. Oh, what is it doing? No. No. There. And that is the end also. Um, I never really, this is just so, yeah. Then we have a diagonal here. is possibly an alpha. Let's keep it an alpha. Um, and we have another alpha, epsilon, sigma, epsilon, nu. This looks like a comma. Quite clearly so. That's also see. It's also here. Comma and then another letter, possibly a lambda. Then we have this thing here with a gamma and a yota perhaps underneath. This again you wouldn't find in Old Nubian, but. This inscription really doesn't do any of that. Perhaps a gamma yota. Clear, epsilon, phi, nu. Then this thing here, this is a bit of an issue. This is a chi. This is not, not a tau, I think. This bar is way too high. So this is a Yota with a stroke above. Comma, 
and another letter here. This looks like a gamma. Now the question is, what is this thing? Um, so have. So what I thought is that it's this type of shape. Don't do that. Don't know why it always wants to regulate. So we have this and then... Oh my god. This. this. And the reason I'm proposing this is because we have another inscription, the other side, which has this type of letter. Um, I'd have to check my notes where exactly we can find it. Oh, not here, but <laughs> here. I mean, alternatively, this could be a moo. So I'm just making a little... No, okay. This doesn't work. I dare. I think this is probably something to get back to. Just give it a little color. And then the next part. As you can see, like, by the way, you can, I mean, this, for example, really looks like an old Nubian word or like or a Nubian word, like Ausen or something, right? So this, the, some parts are recognizable. Inen. Enna. Um, is there a letter before this? Um, ah, sorry. Yeah, no. This line. So I see a new this here. Epsilon also quite okay. Nu, nu, alpha. Then this, I. Oh. You see, there is a difference between this type of nu, which has like straight lines, top, 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 and this type of nu that has this kind of. And you see it even more clearly here this type of hook, right? And again, here is a straight one. Um, 
I think that is a different letter. Um, we will come back to why I think that. Um, it has to do with the fact that this letter has also been found in other inscriptions, um, in Sonkitino, in fact, in which this hook is even more pronounced. It goes even a bit like this. Um, for the moment, I have transcribed this with a capital N here. Um, so there is an epsilon here again, then what looks again like actually like a new. Then I do not see anything anymore after that, but there is a next line where it nearly seems as if, let's say we're missing one character, two, two to three in the hiatus, and then we see another N, and this is the end also of the inscription here. So part of the work in this inscription is actually to understand what is the phonetic value of this thing. And um, I think together with the Sogantino inscriptions, um, we are able to decipher this. Um, but it won't be for this video. We're just going to work on transcribing this otherwise kind of terrible thing. Now. At the top, let's see. That's see how this lines up actually so a little bit earlier this starts even a bit earlier so then this uh, starts more or less kind of eyeballing it oh. and then this starts up. More or less like this. So we have a letter here, stroke, this hooked thing, epsilon, nu, kappa, with a superlinear stroke, omicron, mu. And I think this mu here is really quite different from this thing here. It looks nearly as if it has a closed, a closed loop here in the top. Ok. And then most likely a letter is missing here in this gap. And then... A letter here, this possibly a Yota, Alpha Alpha, and then we have this thing with the nice little loop here, just to clear it out the letter shape, this top 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 top, again this is unknown in any old Nubian text, um, and you see here it looks like a variant, like it has this, but it has a diagonal stroke. So for ease now I have just simply transcribed these here with these capital letters. Um. So there's the weekly one here, delta, epsilon, find then the one with the diagonal stroke here, epsilon, epsilon, good. 
then continue. This starts, oh, it's all right. Again, the same one here, Yota Lambda, Kappa, Alpha, Alpha. This is a wow, it seems. It's a little differently written than, but it has this type of shape. Oh. Kaoe, again, this is, you know, could, for example, put a word break here. We have an accusative ending here, and awe from the verb to make, something like this. But we don't know the language, so we only know it's Nubian-like. I mean, Ilka and so on, this is all very recognizable. And uh, then, mm -hmm. I have a better one for the next line. So I have alpha, I'm not entirely sure what this is, maybe a new, but delta epsilon yota with two with the arises uh, here above. You can see that. Um, Here more clearly, sigma alpha. It looks like an eta alpha alpha lambda here. Then we have a bunch of things going on here. So let's first do this side here since we have that. Um, so kappa alpha alpha. What looks like a pretty sad sigma here. Alpha, and then again this thing with the loopy loop. And what's underneath it? A letter, new epsilon. It looks like a yota has been squeezed in here. Delta, new. Honestly, I don't see any. Not sure about this sigma. Mm, it could be like a nearly like an omicron here, yeah. Um, I'll keep the sigma. I mean, it's really rather similar. Epsilon gamma. It would, of course, be interesting to read, read something like Sigil on here, like letter. And then we have here... Oh. E to... Uh, not this, you see, this letter here. Difficult to understand. It looks like a mu. Mean uh, epsilon. No. Okay. Um. Do I have pictures? We do. Uh, and epsilon here. Yeah. Okay, so let's see then here. 
about the this one piece that is much worse. And I have good photographs, yeah. So, uh, I read here a lambda apparently, but do not know how I. I go with nothing. One, two, three, four. One. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Let's see, I gotta put four dots here. I mean, it's not really. And how does this line up? Pop, pop, pop. more or less starts at the same level as this key. Okay. So this lines up, so maybe four letters are possibly visible here, then maybe around three are missing. Three to four are missing here in the hiatus. And then we have that part. Here, this starts all at the same level. This loopy thing, oi, Omicron, Yota, Nu, Omicron. I'm not even calling this anything, this is just a letter. Um, a letter, here is a letter. And here is a letter. A letter, yeah, a letter in the crack. And then another letter. Okay. And then we have there's a letter before this. P Yota, Kappa, Yota, maybe yeah. two unidentified letters here and here something. Mm. Then there is a whole space. P key here, yeah, that's here up to here, so one, two, one to two, the crack. And that's also the bottom of the inscription. Okay, so let's look at the front of this thing. Or the back, whatever you want to call it.
So I read here. So letter before that here. Nu alpha iota letter. Sigma maybe epsilon. Then a whole bunch of nothing. Nu. This is a tau. This is a tau. Connected. This is not a tau. This is a iota. Maybe it's a superlinear. Gamma. Gonna mark this up as one that's not entirely sure. Alpha kappa, and here you see this this letter also like nesting inside the other kappa omicron mu. I think this is quite clearly a mu. Gamma epsilon and a letter here on the edge. An eta rho tau superlinear stroke rho Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So initially, I had read here another letter which would be shaped like this. But it now actually looks more like it's a row. Ruta. Ruta. Yeah, this is not a line here. This is simply stone. This doesn't work. Because like this strange character only appears once. I'm just not even going to postulate it. I'm just going to say row. Then we have this. Iota. Eta, Kappa, Epsilon, Lambda, Lambda, Omicron. Then, the famous sentence that was read since the beginning. I, Georgios, 
Alright, this is a Sigma, obviously. Um, before that, a rounded letter Yota Nu. And then we keep all of that here. There's something before it, but I'll get to that. Um, let's see how this all lines up. And this new starts above the tau, and this line starts above the kappa. Then this thing epsilon starts above the alpha. There's stuff here on the set, but we'll get to that. Kappa, alpha, alpha, nu, omicron, rho, kappa, rho, omicron, alpha, something. All pretty good. This is a new, most likely, Omicron up Epsilon. I would say this is a Sigma, it's a bit of a thin one, but and also the Yota, the Epsilon here is really quite thin in this script. Sigma, or this could also be Epsilon already. I'm just going to mark this. don't know if we have any other sigmas. Oh yeah, the Gyorgyos. Is this the only other sigma here? Yeah. We only have a part of that, but... Yeah. Okay. We don't have any other sigma. It could be a sigma, it's good. I mean... Look at how thin this also is. I'm going for Sigma. Usri Gu Do. This Rigu, yeah, this is clearly a plural ending. Do super assive. Getting here, so K. Okay, uh, another let. I mean, this could very well also be an alpha. What's missing here? Okay, yeah. I would say maybe one to two characters. Then this N here. Okay, uh, yeah. can fit two. And now we can line everything up. Is it gamma above that? Oh yeah, gamma and there's a letter here. Okay, so now we can line everything up. Um, this starts above this. Omicron, and then um, 
this. is only to have some type of sense of how you know this thing is shaped in the transcription mm -hmm. Then oh, here we have this side at the top, and then we continue with this here. Okay, uh, yota tau gamma epsilon nu. That's all good. This is possibly a kappa, but if it is, then it should be dotted right here in this type of shape. Then we have again stuff up and down. Omicron lambda nu alpha engma here, beautiful with the little hook. Epsilon cute inside. Epsilon ngay again. Kolna is a good ending. Ngay thing. <coughs> Not sure, yeah. This is again going up. Possibly a moon. I'm going to dot this in. Uh, then it becomes a little bit more difficult. Better on, yeah. This one is better. It ends with. Eta, Tau, Alpha, Nu, Omicron, and then something here. So that's good. Possibly Mu, Omicron, possibly Kappa. Okay, so it's not that bad. Actually, this Omicron is pretty decent. They are not that wide, look. They are not that wide. So, Mu Omicron Kappa. But yeah, all of that should be dotted. Okay, here now then we find again one of these hooked news. And here the hook is really quite clear. So that's that one. Um, delta is above, then we have I have no idea. Talo, okay, yeah, all of this is this may be a lambda here, or we call maybe Tau. This looks to me just like there is a hiatus. There is a. How do you write that usually? We write vac for gap. And end there again is a really nice ending. Now, more mysteries. This sigma, this S shape with a stroke above. No idea what it means. This may be rho yota, rho here, yota below, omicron, kappa epsilon lambda, omicron, mu epsilon 
and there is still the shape of a letter here then beautiful this thing with the hook and this diagonal again omicron this shape alpha mu alpha this looks like a delta mu omicron epsilon tau alpha most likely and probably another letter here Gamma, Upsilon, Nu, Yota, Lambda, Tau, Yota, two of the things with the loops, Omicron, Upsilon below, Sigma, Alpha, and on another letter. This, by the way, we will get to that, that's this other piece here. Mm -hmm. Kappa, Rho. Tau alpha <laughs> delta with there's a super linear stroke in between here. I just put it above the new, so probably make a note of that. Super linear stroke between delta and nu This thing here doesn't really close, so I'm gonna just call this a sigma. Sigma, comma, yeah, kappa, and a letter. Miss Sigma Guna Miss Gun Aur This is the not very clear, could be two letters. Gamma Rho Kri Gu R. That's something. And then the other famous part of this is where people could read something, Akde, and then we have Jacob. Le, Epsilon, Epsilon, the one with the hook, Yota, Lambda, Gamma, Omicron, Epsilon, Nu, Alpha. Here it also looks, by the way, as if we have one letter above and then another letter. Right, this looks like there are two. Maybe a Yota above.
Okay, now let's then see this last part. Ooh, a disaster. So here you really see what a difference the angle of the light makes. Now, what did I read here? Got K, okay. Oh, ion. Okay, this is a nice omega action. This ends with alpha. I'm in this line. Sigma alpha. Yeah, letter O Yon got K. Okay, good. Got K again. Very nice. Nubian word. Oyom, obviously, also a nice ending. I read a new here, but. Okay, yeah, here. Ah, this, this thing here. Okay, good enough. Yeah, maybe three. One, two, three. Possibly. I mean, I would just say traces. Um, group kappa dot traces. This is simply not. Obviously, we have the. This is the end of the thing. We don't know. No, it's just broken off. And then we supplement Isaac here because we know that Isaac is coming here. And again, I would just say simply traces. Okay, well, that's it for this Soba marble inscription. Um, I'll be working a little bit on this letters. Um, these in particular, I think, will be able to solve uh, quite well. Because if you see what's happening here, this is Isaac, Jacob, and uh, no, what's it? Usually Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? So we expect actually to have the name of Abraham here somewhere in this hiatus as well. Um, there is the conjunction, and then this would be similar to what the Nubian is, Dekel, right? And then you have genitive, uh, plural genitive. So if this reads la, mm, then what could be a related language have? Like a velar, k, j, ch, right? It's, if the language is related, then it looks pretty close. You know, there are many things we look that look Nubian, old Nubian-like. It's not going to be too far away. Gotka, you know, it has preserved, you know, the velars, let's say, in more or less the same positions. So this is not going to be too far off. And what is interesting is that um, it will appear that we find this letter here in another inscription in Sonkitino, um, and where it really gives us some um, sense of this value. Um, it may very well turn out to be that this language that we're reading here is actually what... Um, uh, Adam Whitehart calls in his book on Banganarti um, Old Dongolawi. So 
this will be kind of um, interesting to explore a little bit. But for now, we at least have finished the transcriptions. Thank you.